Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the Ultimate Trading Webinar for Beginners. My name is Daniel. I'll be giving you the webinar today. Before we will begin, I would like to make sure that everybody can see the screen over here properly and uh, they can hear me properly. So please, if you can comment in the question section that the chart is uh, visible for you and that the sound is in a suitable level. So that could be good. And then we will begin. If more people could comment in the question section that the sound is in the proper level and that they can see the chart, that could be good. And then we can begin. Okay, let me also check the sound from my end. Okay, all right. It seems fine. It seems okay. So like I said, my name is Daniel and this is the ultimate trading webinar for beginners. Today, guys, we're going to go through three steps, perhaps two and a half steps. We will begin with the introduction to Ava Trade, what kind of services we offer in our facilities and platforms. And then followed by that will be a bit more practical part with uh, just basics with trading, some essential basics with trading. So we're going to speak about what is buy and what is sell and the pending orders that we have over here. Okay, and the whole, whole platform in general. And on the uh, the following part, so if we'll have more time, so analysis. So we're going to begin with the introduction. Then we're going to go through the practical part, as I said. And on the third part, perhaps analysis, if time will allow us. Okay, and I'm going to go for a quick check that the webinar is recorded, and I'm going to go and say that the webinar will be uploaded to YouTube later on. Okay, to our channel, to Avatrade uh, channel, to see it again if you missed the part or you want to see it again. Okay, it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed provided for information purposes only it should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion okay so like I said this webinar is recorded uh, if there is any any question feel free to put it in the question section uh, let me just go for uh, perhaps a few, mo few moments to make sure it's recorded and then we will begin thank you very much All right, so everything seems in place. We're going to, like I said, begin with the introduction to Avatrade. Let me bring up somewhere to put some notes. Okay. All right. All right, so when you are logging to this, and uh, first of all, the introduction to Avatrade, of course, as many of you know, we were born 2006. We have now licensed uh, worldwide. And we have an excellent customer service that can give you all kind of services related to customer service through the chat here or through the WhatsApp function that is uh, found at the bottom left corner. Okay, to get to this lovely interface, all you have to do is just to log in with your uh, email and password, okay, to the website evatray.com. Um, in general, you're supposed to see this interface. Otherwise, um, there is a possibility it needs to be applied on your account. So if you log in and you don't see the platform, you can contact, like I said, the customer service here. Uh, also, if you really want, you can send them an email. All right. And this is the address, cs at avatray.com, but it should appear. It should appear as soon as you are uh, logging into the website, okay, with your email and password. Now, this is regarding the customer service. Regarding trading, you can ask for assignment for a senior account manager. So if customer service is giving customer service, the senior account manager is going to give you some, uh, some inputs regarding trading. So that means calculations, and that means uh, the buttons that we have here, which we're going to have a nice guide through in a few minutes, and perhaps explanation about the leverage and about the margin. All of those things can be addressed by a senior account manager. 
Okay, senior account manager, including, by the way, strategy and risk money management. Usually we hire senior account managers that also trading, so they should know those things. All right, and of course, the assignment comes after you make a deposit and the account is up and running. You can get yourself a senior account manager through the uh, customer service. Okay, so we're going to begin with an introduction to our platforms. The first platforms that we're going to mention is MT4. I'm sure that more veteran um, clients would recognize the name, right? MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader uh, 5. We have those two conservative platforms. We also have the web trader, like we said now, which is also applicable. Same apply for those platforms. And we also have uh, Ava Options and Ava Social, okay, which I will which I will expand perhaps on a nutshell in a few minutes. But first we're gonna begin with, as always, with Ava Protect. Um, frankly, MT5 and MT4 doesn't have so much significant difference. They do have a difference, but they they look and behave quite the same. If you want to diverse a little more aggressively, so perhaps MT5 is more suitable and MT4 is more straightforward, but it's just my personal uh, interpretation. So some people can say otherwise. Now the web trader, what's unique about uh, this, this interface is a few things. First, you have the uh, other protect function, which is developed uh, for beginners, but also intermediate and advanced traders can use it. And we also have the information presented while clicking here on the I. So we set the first step, we uh, log in with the email and password. Second step, if we click on the I here, we get all kind of interesting uh, information. The load size and the uh, leverage, and what else is here? The hours that it's opened. Okay, also the uh, differences, the spread. Okay, so this is something you cannot find on MT4 and 5. Okay, this is very convenient. Later on, we'll understand why. Let's pick ourselves uh, an asset to begin with. There is a question here. Can you recommend uh, technical sites for forecasting the currency's pairs? Mm. Look, I can recommend you something else. If you go to the upper corner, clicking on the light blue lines, and you go here to Trading Central, Trading Central has four tabs. The first tab, if you click on it, is Economy Calendar, letting you see the dates, the specifications for announcements, how much of an impact they have. This is for more fundamentals. But if you want technical, you can go here to Forex Features Advice. And in Forex Features Advice, you have technical inputs, which we're gonna see in a second. Uh, as you can see here, this is the physically the chart. Here you have some technical inputs. We have found pattern, etc. You can switch uh, maybe a different currency as an example, and you can get all kind of Okay, it sounds, it seems like my sound, something happened to my sound. All right, um, I hope it works now. So as you can see, this is the technical side and also you have here the analysis views. Okay, in the analysis views, you can get even more information, pivot points and references, and also support and resistance. Okay, those kind of things. And uh, yeah, Trading Central, very, very uh, interesting. Okay. So we're gonna pick ourselves a nice asset to begin with. Um, which asset am I gonna show you today? Let's go with gold. Okay, it's important for me that you'll know guys that Ava Protect is only on the web trader in Avago. Furthermore, it's only on currencies, silver and gold. Okay, 
only forex silver and gold okay at this point at this point perhaps in the future we'll improve and uh, either for more assets but right now as for right now only forex silver uh, gold and silver okay so we're gonna expand the chart okay by clicking here the way that I pulled up gold was just a type here gold and then I click it from the list second step is because I'm showing you something and for myself in order to see things clear I'm gonna click here on the two arrows to expand the screen and I'm gonna change the time frame which is here as you can see right next to the symbols uh, name next to the search field I'm gonna change it to days okay the reason is as you can see here Ava protect is uh, written in uh, gold or okay whatever color is this and this shield is showing me that I can apply our protect now when I click on the shield or if I mark the box which is it does the same function it's gonna let me choose the time now Ava protect is gonna let me protect my position for a certain time frame let's just uh, let you protect the position for a certain time frame okay and whatever I have uh, lost during the coverage I will get back excellent okay in other words how do we win how do we lose if the asset is going down and I'm selling that means that I am making profits right the logic is if I buy here if I buy as an example we are as you can see we have sell and buy if I'm marked with a buy and I have just one uh, ounce right just one unit of gold because it's gold so gold comes in ounces um, okay and if gold is gonna have let's say $10 movement we're gonna put how do I get the lines I click here on the tiny arrow and then I can click here on the line and then I put it on the chart in the future I don't have to click it again I can just click here let's suppose that gold has $10 movement and it's gonna go from 1834 you know what let's go even more ambitious let's go $20 movement so $20 movement okay we're gonna use this we're gonna paint in green because it's our where we're aiming and in here we have two lovely pending orders and the pending orders are orders that trigger automatically right and once they get to the price that I marked that's gonna close my position with the profit if it's take profit and if I'm losing it's gonna uh, stop it with a loss so take profit we have stop loss that to give you is that it saves you the time and then when you are using take profit and you're away from the computer so it's going to close it with the profit okay is that clear do we have any questions so far um do we have any questions regarding this point excellent excellent so the way that we're using take profit and stop loss is to show you guys the proportion of what can happen if it gets to a certain price because this is hypothetically going to help us understand how Ava protect is going to help us protect the position okay we said for a certain time frame um, there is a question here by Tanvir how do we trade with leverage we are already trading with leverage just bear with me maybe five ten minutes I'm sure you'll understand how it works 
So we are showing our protect. We said that our protect lets us protect the position for a certain time frame. How much time frame? Let's increase from one hour. Let's go all the way to the to the max. Let's say ten dollars almost. Okay, and we're gonna use, like I said, take profit, which is automatically close the position with the profit, and stop loss, which close the position with a loss. Uh, we're gonna use them to hypothetically predict the results. So here we're gonna state 1854. Why did I write it here in the profits? Because we are with a buy. And when we are buying, if it goes higher, we're gonna make uh, money. How much money? For every unit that I'm selling or buying, I'm gonna make $1. Therefore, when buy or sell one unit, and it moves one dollar equals one dollar okay if it moves ten if it moves ten we're gonna use it in the future therefore i'm putting it for us to see so it will be useful for us when we are done with the with the introduction okay oops what did i do All right, so this way, this way, we're gonna use the take profit and stop loss to predict how much we can potentially gain or lose. Um, and we're gonna state here the number 1854, and the stop loss will be similar, 1814, which is $20 down. So $20 down and $20 up, Let's see if we can get the price or it's too low. I think it's a bit too low, but changing it to weeks to see more data, to see bigger picture. So we have the red line stated as a stop loss. And we have the green line stated as a take profit. That means that if it gets to here, we're gonna make 19 quid, uh, almost $19. And if it gets to here, we're gonna potentially lose 20. Now, we're going to put down two scenarios. One scenario with, will be with us making profits. The other one will be when we uh, have losses. Scenario A. And scenario B will be profit B. And the other one will be uh, losses. Okay, loss that we have returned because like we said, it helps us get our uh, losses back, only what is during the coverage. So if I've covered the, um, if I've covered this position for two days, let's see, my fee is 997, okay. And the profits that I'm supposed to make are, let's see, uh, 19 almost right and the loss that i am supposed to have if it gets there okay is 21. so this is a minus and this is a minus and this is a minus right and this one is a plus and this is also a plus okay this is what it's going to look like if it gets to those numbers does this make sense so we took a position, okay, with a buy, hoping to get to 1854. If we got there, we're gonna make 18.5, paying a fee of 997. I know it doesn't look so great, but remember, we are only with just one unit. If it would be 10, so 10 units will give us almost 100. So you can see it just multiplied by 10 would give us 200, uh, 190 and 210, paying 86. Oh, what just happened? There we go. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, proportions for the fee are changing while changing the time or changing the quantities. So with one, we paid seven, keep on jumping. 
with one we pay uh, almost 10 with 10 we pay almost 100 okay and that makes pure sense do we have any questions so far how is avid trade fees calculated is it percentage of the trade so tanvir as i am showing it determines by two factors one factor is the time when we are changing the time the other factor is quantities the more quantities the bigger the fee and the bigger the potential uh, profit or loss everything is very um, like i said this webinar is recorded so there is no need to know it thoroughly i'm just giving it on a nutshell and later on we can see the recorded version as many times as we need i will say just a couple of more things a this feature is not mandatory so you can use it or not use it if i click here no more ever ever protect okay i can click it if i want if i don't so it's also fine and the second thing is we cannot extend the position when covered therefore at the expiry which is stated here below i cannot add more time to the coverage so when it's done i have to if i want to have more uh, coverage for a position i have to take a new position otherwise i cannot extend my coverage same apply for an hour i cannot have another hour if i uh, want okay there is a question here mm -mm -mm. also there is the website or link where i can see the exact fee charge calculations for different scenarios i uh, no no there is no list if you are looking for a list because i guess this is what you're asking uh unfortunately we don't have one you'll have to just play with the proportions and see what's right for you okay because there is no list um i guess there is a formula there is a formula probably to measure the fee but it's not really my uh, okay let's carry on let's carry on we spoke about ever protect we spoke about the platforms what else do we have to okay i'm gonna give on a natural on our social and our options and then we're gonna start with the business Ava Social is a, a social media platform and it lets you see the lists of other traders trading and enjoying somebody else is trading while you're just watching or you can watch somebody and if you really got enthusiast, you can just follow this person. You can copy this person and do what he's doing. Okay, link your account to his account. but. Remember that if you link your account to somebody else's account, you got to make sure that the balance is compatible. Otherwise, let's just say that it can lead you to different results. Okay, we have a question here by Brian. Brian, can one have to stop losses at the point of the finance being traded? If you can elaborate, that would be great. Please, if you can elaborate this one, like the base long off. You can uh, elaborate this one. I would give you an answer with pleasure. Okay. Uh, I social, like I said, very, very, very recommended, especially for beginners who are still not certain about what strategy or plan they're going to use. And other options is for options trading. Okay, what is exactly options trading? Okay, we're not gonna explain too thoroughly about that. I'm just gonna say that right now what we're looking at is called CFDs and it's contract for a difference and it's leveraged trading. Therefore, when I'm opening here, when I'm opening here, um, even gold okay i have leverage on gold and if i open here some euro usd or euro jpy we're gonna see that it's leveraged leveraged as you can see here all right so we're gonna begin guys with our uh, business i hope that everybody is excited 
and we're gonna pick a very asset, very nice asset to see, and we even gonna choose it manually and not by the search field at the top. Which one am I gonna show you guys today? What about oil? How is oil doing? Okay, I'm sure some people doesn't like oil, so I'm sorry guys, but oil is very, very interesting these days. Therefore, I will be, I will be showing oil. Okay, so first we're gonna state our goal. And our goal is going to be, first we're gonna put the assets name. And then we're gonna put the first step, which is goal. All right, <clears throat> guys, this is also a guide through, just to make sure this is a guide through. Let's see, we have a question here before the guide through. Not every brokerage company recommends to trade with gold for beginners. How many deposits should be needed minimally for trading with gold? Uh, save this question for a minute and then I'm sure you'll find out. By the way, I don't recommend to trade anything. If you're asking my opinion, I don't recommend to trade anything, but I also trade to trade everything. I recommend nothing, but I, tra but I recommend everything. You will soon find out why. Let's suppose that I'm a beginner, okay, and this is crude oil. What a lovely asset to see. Uh, and right now I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at or what I'm doing. What I do know is that crude oil is an asset that is uh, affected fundamentally. So we have two kinds of analysis. Don't worry, guys, I'm going to carry on with the guy through in a second. So technical and fundamental. Did I put it right? Yeah. Okay, and I know that oil is used for many, many things, intradustial, intradustial uh, things. Okay, now I'm going to state myself a goal because all of us are here to make money. And uh, just a second. Guys, I am seeing all of your questions. It's your raining questions, and that's wonderful. I'm happy to see all questions. But I'm sure that the answers will be will not uh, light to come. So just bear a few minutes, and then everything will be uh, clear. So all I know is that I'm looking at crude oil. I want to make money, and I know how much money am I going to make. So at least I have an amount in mind. I don't. Know, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not, but I know where I'm aiming. So my goal is going to be two hundred and fifty dollars for this week. Um, okay, thank you, Brian, for rephrasing the question. I will attend it in a few minutes. So crude oil, our goal is $250. And now we're looking at apparently weeks, okay? This platform is divided to few segments. As you can see here, we have the search field. We have the time frames so when i'm changing the time it's going to change the candlesticks those are japanese candlesticks okay japanese candlesticks and they are not going to give me any information unless i change the crosshair that i'm using to a crosshair because now i have no crosshair and i can click and drag if i want and if i click here on the crosshair suddenly i get information which is great. Why is it great that I'm getting information? We're going to find out in a moment. Here I can split the charts if I want to have two charts or whatever other chart that I need. Uh, here I can put in perhaps an indicator like uh, this one or that one or something interesting that I see. Okay, maybe this one. Click, drag, save very fast and easy okay and to get rid of it and to get rid of it just to click here on the x and click save and it disappears and like i said here all kind of interesting things that i that i uh 
perhaps this area if I want to remember so I'm gonna click here and create a nice oval and I can re get rid of its uh, background if I really want okay all kind of nice things I can also put a note here remember resistance just as a is an example okay all right right so we're gonna carry on like I said we are looking at oil our target is 250 very well and now I'm gonna state the time that I'm planning to make those 250 why is that uh, necessary in my plan because if I make 250 in a day that's good if I make 250 in a year guys would you be making 250 in a year I'm not sure I'm not sure that's very long time for very small cash so let's balance let's say maybe a month is also long let's go for a week one week okay and the next step so we're gonna put your time the next step that we are using will be movements okay let's suppose guys that i told you that now this red candle is giving me a direction that oil is going down how much down let's say uh let's say here okay maybe somewhere here okay if i drag the line and it doesn't land on the price that i want i'm gonna click it twice okay i'm gonna click it twice quickly and i'm gonna change its figures to what i want 73.5 0.5 okay and because it's our goal we're gonna paint it in green because my ambition is that it will go lower i'm no longer buying i'm selling and when i'm selling i'm gonna put uh, soon we're gonna put the take profit on okay so 250 dollars in a week and our movements why do we need to anticipate movements guys why do i need to know what kind of price i am aiming for why can't i just sell guys what happens if i sell can anyone assure me that crude oil will get will go down to the price that i'm aiming for or there is also a possibility that it will go up instead of down so it will go down maybe half a cent and then it will go up up to here maybe not up to here maybe here yeah something like that something like that maybe five dollars should be here right yeah and maybe this one is too ambitious we're gonna make it just two dollars okay all right so because there is no assurance because there is no assurance i must have measurement how much down do i think that oil is going to is it going to go a dollar down is it going to go let's see i'm switching it to months maybe it could move down to here okay is it realistic is it realistic let's see let's check the candle here and see if it's realistic when was the last time you can see here the dates right when was the last time that it's been there oh it's been a long ago right it's been this is 2021 2021 on december that's a little more than a year ago if it's been there a year ago could be far-fetched if i'm planning to make it in a week okay now because I'm aiming for two dollars and two dollars is just a week ago remember when I'm switching to weeks so every candle here is a week so quick recap we're planning to make 250 we're planning to do it in a week we also have the uh, movement that we are expecting which we are going to find out now now 
how do I figure the movement? Okay, the movement is defined, as you can see here, every candle is giving us four intervals. Those intervals are, this guy is blocking my view. Uh, we're gonna put its date, we're gonna put its uh, open, we're gonna put its close, high, and lows, and then we're gonna subtract the differences. This is why I like to he to give here a blank, just a blank raw, so you can put the results. Let's put here, op uh, open here is 73.4, close is 79.3, high is uh, 80.3, and low is 72.2. Now, let's open up a calculator. Okay. We're gonna see 73.4 minus 79.3, that's 5.9, and uh, 80.3, sorry, 80.3 minus 72.2, 8.1, okay. All right, now, if, if I tell you, okay, that, uh, I believe oil, okay, crude oil is going to move twenty dollars this week in a week. In a week, is this realistic, guys? Look at the figures. Look at the figures. Look at the candle. Also, this is our candle that we've analyzed and we found that all of the all of the trail that it's done point at nine now i'm not asking if it's possible i'm asking your opinion if it's realistic if it's likely to happen do you think that oil okay will likely to move twenty dollars in a week let me just draw you a picture just so we can be on the same page twenty dollars is now it's 78 so 68 would be not even here yeah do you think it can get there in a week twenty dollars in a week do you think it's uh likely let's see when was the last time that it was there okay april two years ago Hmm. Do you think that it's realistic? Two years ago, a little more. No. Okay. So a lot of people don't think it's realistic. What about ten? What about ten? How is ten? How do you feel about? Let me just also draw you a picture. Ten would be roughly here, which we said like uh, a year ago, maybe a little more than that. Okay. Still, do you think it's realistic? <laughs> yeah. All right. What about uh, five? How do you feel about five? Seventy-three is seventy-three is fine. Five dollars. Realistic. Okay. Okay. All right. So I don't even go for five. I go for two right i go for two dollars two dollars in in a week okay which is of course it's realistic we just we just saw that it moved more than that a week ago so we're gonna go for two dollars now if i'm going for two dollars two dollars and we set it for every unit that we sell or buy we're gonna make uh, two dollars right so i must divide 250 by 2 to get the number of units and this is our fourth step units how many units do i need to make 250 dollars guys with two dollar movement this is my take profit we're going to put here 70 
6.5. Okay. Oh, not gonna tell you the answer. We're gonna oh let's let's try how do I okay. All right. So how many units do I need, guys? How many barrels of oil? How many barrels of oil do I need to sell to sell to make two hundred and fifty dollars with only two dollar movement? which is from here to roughly here. How much is 200 and very nice, very nice. So more people to answer, more people to answer because this equation is useful and universal, right? We can use this equation to calculate everything. As long as we multiply, right? X movements or perhaps X units, multiply Y movements equals Z potential profit or loss, right? Therefore, Z divided by uh, Y in this case equals 125, 125. Okay, is that clear? Do we understand, is that clear? Okay, do we have any questions about uh, this point? All right. Here is a question, will lead why $125? Oh, sorry. Nope, that's not what I meant. Okay, thank you for uh, 125 units. Now we have completed this position. Right? We don't know if it's going to go there or not, but at least we know what happens if it gets there. Let's test our strategy, see if it's uh, 125, almost, almost, almost. Uh, do we know, do we know, why don't we get a flat number? Why don't we get a flat number, guys? There is something called spread. Okay, and spread and swaps. Spread is difference between the bid and the ask. Okay, and swap is overnight fee. Okay, and we should remember, we should remember that those things has impact on our trades. So overnight fee means that as long as I'm holding the position for more than a day, I'll be paying a certain percentage to the broker. Okay, and spread means that I'm gonna begin with my position with a small loss, with a small minus, okay? The reason is, similarly to buying a product from the factory, which requires you to get to a vehicle and drive and okay versus buying it from a retail next to your house and then for your convenience they're going to charge you a small percentage okay rather than buying from a factory right buying from a retail okay so this is why we don't get a flat number all right now we have determined the take profit how do we determine the take profit? Because we have the expected movement, we've placed it on the chart, and we know how many units. Now, the next step that we're gonna go through is called risk money management. I don't remember who asked me in the beginning of the webinar about leverage. Okay, if you can speak up, I don't remember exactly many, many questions, but whoever asked about leverage, this is your moment. So to do risk money management, we need three things, guys. The first one is value. The second one is leverage. The third one is margin impact. Why do I care about those things? Let's see. Now, Let's suppose, let's change it to weeks, it would be easier for us. Let's suppose that, God forbid, I took a position and I went on a cruise with my wife and I, God forbid, 
forgot the trade uh, running. Okay, I went on the cruise and I forgot my trade running and God forbid it got up to here, 90.4. Okay. Now, this scenario, first of all, this scenario, we're gonna measure what potentially could, ha could have ha happened to my account in a second. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate. But first, we're gonna put the value of how much this position is really worth, which means, which means price versus the units, okay? So if I buy one barrel that costs 78, if I buy two bar uh, 10 barrels that cost 780, let's see how much 125 is gonna cost. Multiply 78.3. Okay, so we have this number. This number is 978. Okay, this is not the leverage, this is the value. Okay, now, the leverage. Why do we need the leverage? Guys, the leverage is a multiplier, okay? That let me, that lets me, um, uh, multiply the positions, so it let you buy or sell more, right? Let you buy or sell more units with the same balance. So that's what a multiplier does. It takes the balance, which is 10,000, and it will behave as if I had more, only for oil, because the the leverage is unique and individual. If I compare the value with the margin impact, what is the margin impact? The necessary amount, the required amount to take the position. Okay, the margin. The margin, the margin impact is the true impact, okay, money-wise on my account. So without leverage, I would need to pay $9,700. This is almost as much as I have on my account. But thanks to the leverage, it appears to be that I am multiplied. How much am I multiplied by? Okay, let's compare. Let's compare. Who can tell me what leverage we have before I'm revealing the answer? Let's see. I'm going to divide I'm going to divide the value by the margin impact. I'm going to divide the value. What is the value? Units multiply price. Units multiply price. And if the price per barrel is 78 and we're taking 125, this is what we're supposed to pay. Thanks to leverage, thanks to leverage, we are multiplied by 10. Okay. Excellent. Now, because we're multiplied by 10, we can reduce, we can divide the actual value by 10. How can I confirm? If I really, really want to see it in my own bare eyes, I'm gonna go to here, to I, okay, outside. I closed this menu and I opened here this nice uh, list. And I can see that the leverage is indeed, the leverage is indeed one, two, 10. Okay, as it's written here. Uh, okay, now to bring this back up, I can click sell or buy and it will do what it does. Let's put back, let's put back the figures. Okay, our green line was 76.5 and our stop loss, okay. So guys, let's suppose that I went on a cruise with my wife and I forget about my position, I forget about my crude oil, and I have left it with, I just let let it uh, float, okay? Like the boat on the cruise. And I put here 90.5. This is, God forbid, let's suppose that I forgot about my position and I let it float. Okay, so take profit, as we said, 
is set for 76.4 and stop loss is set for 90.5 if i wouldn't put it there god forbid it could go even higher okay but let's suppose that it's 19.5 so that means that my potential loss is now one thousand five hundred and twenty dollars which stands for a little more than 12 15 percent of my capital is that valid risk money management okay so like i said let's imagine that i went on a cruise with my wife and i forget about my position and my position got so high up to 19.5 okay so this is the potential loss of my margin now i'm asking a, a question if i put my stop loss remember without stop loss it can keep on going endlessly right nobody says that it will but it can keep keep going and then okay do you think that it's a good place for a stop loss 90.5 19.5 that's 15 percent of my capital do you think that it's the right exposure okay all right so a lot of people wrote here that it's a bit too high so Let's suppose 15 is, is too high. Why do you think that it's too high? I'm still going to have left $8,500. Look, 10,000, right? Minus 1,500. How much is that? Still leaving me with a lot of money in the account. So why is that so bad? Why is that so bad? very nice so paul you're saying that if i take more positions that means that my loss could devastate the account right because 15 percent it's maybe good for a single position but could be if, if i take more positions so my exposure increases okay so if 15 is too much how much is an ex uh, percentage that is acceptable okay what about five five is that okay five percent let's try five percent so for five what am i gonna do i'm gonna take down this to uh let's say three dollars as an example and we're gonna put here stop loss 81.5 okay it's, we can take it even higher Oops. okay all right so this is five percent and if i would want to make it uh two two and a half percent exactly so people here are saying that five is still too much so if i would want to make it two and a half percent i can make it lower okay i can make it the same idea as the is the take profit same proportions so this is the new take profit uh, stop loss all right all right now if i am not sure about i'm sure about my take profit stop loss but i'm not sure that the entry that i choose is the best that i can get and i want to sell in a higher price let's say here when it's 79 so i can click here execute the when price hits and this is what it's gonna do the same for take profit and stop loss i also have a pending order typic the price and if i mark here execute when price hits it's gonna sell if it gets to this price so quick recap guys we have composed a position that make pure sense we also have a take profit and stop loss with a very nice exposure right we also have a very nice return two and a half percent 
okay in a week if I have four positions like this I'm making 10 10% uh, that's not bad at all okay even if I average this much I make 10% in a month okay as an example which is not bad and we also discovered that uh, let me ask you a question though what happens if I don't have this margin impact we said mr. margin impact right let's get rid of uh, maybe I shouldn't get rid of anything let's just separate it what happens a question before we say goodbye what happens if I can comply to the margin impact who knows who knows what happens if I don't have enough to comply to the margin impact the trade will close exactly the position will close so for whoever asked me about trading with leverage you should know that when you're trading with leverage you should always make sure that your margin is enough to sustain the position otherwise everything that is written here is meaning meaningless it's meaningless because if I take 10 positions and my margin impact goes below a thousand I'm gonna get a phone call from my account manager telling me that my margin is down the hill as an example all right guys we have two minutes two minutes uh, two minutes please if there are any questions regarding anything please tell me those questions and I will uh, now it's only one minute but still tell me your questions and I will do my best to give you an answer okay we have a question here by Tayani Malongo how do we get access to the YouTube video Wow thank you for this question this is very very simple all you got to do is just go to YouTube to our Ava trade channel and you can enjoy there all of the recorded videos of previous webinars not only that also mr uh, Frey's webinar and mr naim's webinar which i recommend to see by the way guys you can enjoy other other uh, lectures as well not only mine i recommend you to see that more information is never a, a bad thing you wanted to tell us about recommendation of trade all but not trade all oh right why am I recommending you to trade everything but not to trade anything because it doesn't matter what you choose as long as this composition makes sense to your ambitions and your analysis is fine you can carry on if you engage any problems when you have those five steps written four and this is my fifth okay so you can choose another asset there is no obligation for you to trade an asset if you've done this process and your conclusion that it's not worth your time, right? Because if my balance would have been, instead of 10,000, it would have been only 1,000. Would I still go with this position? Maybe no. Maybe I wouldn't do it because maybe it's a bit too high for me to bear with my account. Okay, zero, how much? how do you watch former webinars and this one too like I explained like I explained it's very simple you just go to Avatrade to our channel in YouTube you search there whatever you you're looking for usually it takes a day or two but I guess it should be there uh, Simpson you're asking if I have a smaller account what asset is the best for me to trade Mm, again all of the assets could be computable but that depends on the lot size and that depends on the movements that it can give you that's my point the movements and if you have the budget look at the steps guys it's been a pleasure I have to move to another lecture thank you so much for participating I hope beginners have more confidence to start trading because this is the best way to learn by yourself including the information that we're providing so I wish you all a great week I'll see you tomorrow at the live Q&A. Best of luck and have a wonderful week. Thank you.